I've been talking about jewelry for basically a gazillion years. I've been here for going on 20 years. And then I was at QVC, our sister network, for six or seven years. So I've been talking about jewelry forever. I'm certified GIA specialist, you know, all that kind of good stuff. I have never, ever seen this stone before until today. So you and I are gonna have a first experience together. And I think that's really, really cool. And the reason I've never seen it is because quite frankly, there's one place in the entire world you'll ever find this stone. So I am thrilled, 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 thrilled to talk about the Canadian Amolite and it's an entire jewelry collection. Now, let me give you the scoop. When Kenneth was on, Kenneth, do you go by Kenneth or Ken? Kenneth, well, fabulous. But you can call me Ken. No, I will call you Kenneth, whatever. I'm just meeting you for the first time, so it's lovely. As long as you call me. Okay. <laughs> just don't call me late for dinner. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. So, here's the scoop. What you're going to see is truly one of the most unusual stones in the world. And when Kenneth was here, the only other time he's been on the air, and I even wrote it down because it was such a while ago, he's been on twice, and he could only do these little baby truncated shows because quite frankly, they couldn't get enough of this stone in. Every single item sold out that he had on in those two little hours, in those two times he visited. Here's the first time ever he's had multiple hours in one visit ever here at HSN, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the stone that I'm talking about. And like you, I am beyond excited to tell you all about it and to learn from Kenneth what makes this so special. So if you missed the couple little times he popped on, because it is a very rare stone, this is the hour you must watch. And don't let any of these goodies pass you by. This one is the hammered one. The problem about the hammered one is we were supposed to have a lot more of these. I'm a little upset with you, Kenneth. Thanks a lot. They're almost sold out. Angela, how many do I have left? Because I know it wasn't a lot. I have 150 in the hammered design, not the bypass, I'm talking about the hammered, okay. So I have 150 left in the hammered design. We will get to this, it is actually brought back. It's a beautiful ring. And yes, believe it or not, that is the real stone. Isn't that cool? Now, we also will talk about the bypass. I'm sorry guys, I know I'm going a little bit longer than I should, but there's a lot about this I wanna share with people. Here's the bypass design and the story behind it is that is on sale. This has actually been brought back in today. I also have a matching bracelet you guys love that sold out immediately, and we brought that back in too. But look how cool that bypass design is. The sizes on this are five through 10. The bracelet, six and a quarter to six and a half. Right now, going into the show, I have literally less than 50 bracelets available. So we'll get to these two in just a couple of moments, but I do want to introduce you to Kenneth, who I am also meeting for the very first time. I tried to call him a couple times, but uh, he's a very busy man. Oh, it's okay. It's nice to meet you. I thought it was spam. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of course. I'm kidding. You know, when most people see my number come up, they do think spam. <laughs> I'm with you. I totally understand. Nice to be with you. All right, you. so I want you to give me, if you don't mind, I could read out your history, but I'd rather you tell us about it. Well, listen, you know, 30 years ago, I teamed up with some people that had uh, a beautiful gemstone that nobody had heard of. It is the last precious gemstone to be given gemstone status back in 1981. There hasn't been another new discovery of a gemstone since. Yeah. It's a generational gemstone from start to finish, less than 100 years. Wow. Discovery Channel called it the sleeping beauty of the gem world and honored us with a documentary. Oh, you're You know kidding. you're doing something right when the Discovery Channel knocks on your door. <laughs> yeah. Shortly thereafter, the American Museum of Natural History knocked on our door and they were doing an $80 million um, renovation to the Grand Gallery in New York where they filmed the Night of the Museum, mm -hmm. chose two things to be on permanent exhibition, and one of them was amylite. Oh so, I have been you know, promoting and introducing this beautiful gemstone around the world for 30 years. There's so much to say, so I'm gonna quickly, and just please interrupt me, because I, I can talk about this for hours. And you know what, again, I said to everybody else, this is the, our first time I'm right. ever learning about it, so we're all okay. having this great experience together. So like um, any other gemstone, amylite is in different qualities and grades, okay. right? And it's graded and, and appraised through GIA, so it has all of that efficacy and, and, and so forth. But what's really special about this collection is that this is the finest amylite in the world. So if you're familiar with diamonds, we call it D-flawless. Mm -hmm. So this is our D-flawless quality. Less Wait. than 10% of the entire deposit is this quality. But can I ask you something? Because sure. this is the first thing I thought. Is that real? Yeah. yeah. Right. No, because no, you look at it, 100%. the coloration is so special and spectacular right. that I thought, oh, they've created that. Can I tell you that? Start there. Okay, so <laughs> 71 million years in the making. No way. 71 million years in the making. This is a geological fluke, an oh, accident beautiful. of Mother Nature that has occurred nowhere else on Earth. 
It's, it's in a very, very and small. And this is exactly how after you, yes. you know, bring it out and then you polish it up and uh, you cut it. Yes. This is what Mother Nature has done. There is no enhancements or treatments other None. than, other than, we cap it with either a spinel or a quartz crystal because amylite is like pearl. It looks like opal. It's really soft. It, it, looks like, it looks like opals, but it's not fragile. But it's soft like pearl. So by capping it, we get to give you a, a gemstone that is going to stand the test of time. Stunning. Right? Absolutely stunning. But it's really important that this is the finest quality in the world. There's no upgrades available. We were offered a big show in January. We had to say no. Not because I wanted to say no but because there's simply not enough not amylite. Good. Well, and also the last two visits you had, everything sold out and they were truncated. I mean, this is the first time you've ever been able to bring enough for us to actually do two full hours in a day. I agree. <laughs> and, and like I said, in, they wanted us to come back in January for at least two shows and we had to say, unfortunately, we're not able to do this. Now listen, we're all looking for things to set us apart and, and, to, and, to, and to adorn ourselves with beautiful things that are extra special. Well, there's nothing more extra special than this gemstone in the finest of quality. Can I just say that 90% of the entire deposit is green. It's 90, beautiful. Is it's it really? beautiful green. Really? But this is a kaleidoscope of color. It's so pretty. The rarest color in amylite is blue. As a matter of fact, we often don't even talk about it because we can't supply it. Oh, that's so cool. So this is months in the working for this two hour you know, visit here today. Okay, and I just do need a quick update, okay. Ken. On the first earring, the little studs that you saw, how many do I have left? I have 14, up for the whole wide world, there you go. Yeah. And what are, we, what are we doing on the ring? And I'm sorry, we didn't describe it too well. There's six left, size nine only. If you're a size nine, congratulations. Now we do have more rings coming up, which Calling is all size nines. All, all size nines, yeah, here's absolutely. your moment. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the hammered ring. Now, oh, I, huge hit. I'm a little upset about this. I'm sorry. Because, well, it's okay. I'll get over it. Okay. Um, here's the thing, and by the way, well, I'm just gonna show you this because it's coming up too. There's and not enough of these. They, no, these are gonna sell out too. Okay, hammered ring's gonna totally sell out. I was prepping for the show, getting ready for it, and I was like, really? We do not have enough to actually make what we considered we thought we would sell in the hour. So just a little heads up on it. Uh, we have sizes five through 10, so right now am I good on all sizes? Okay, good. This is coming up and it's a genuine shell, and look what they did. They put the amylite inside the shell itself. So could you turn it around? Yeah, look at that. So ammonites, this is an ammonite. This is a 70 million year old fossil. The, the this, fossil this, itself is called? An ammonite. And an ammonite. ammonites were prolific back that in the days of the me. dinosaurs. No kidding. Right, so this, this is from Madagascar. That's so cool. And so what we've done is we've cut the ammonite in half and we have meticulously hand set ammonite in each of these chambers giving okay. you and it's coming up because I was just teasing. Oh, okay, sorry. Because it's so cool. It's so cool. And it's going to totally sell out. So I'm like, oh, thanks, guys. They're going to put the info up. But we're talking about the hammered before it's Right. Sold well, out. this is one of our number one uh, top designs. I mean, listen, you don't have to wear a lot of jewelry. You just have to wear a piece of jewelry that's going to stand, you know, in front of everybody yeah. and, and the test of time. This is absolutely spectacular. These colors are natural. Now, remember, the blue is the rarest color in amylite. Only 10% of the stones have blue in this amylite. And in the Kenneth Bradley collection, right, this is, this is in every single one of these pieces. It is such a showstopper. People are, are loving it. And, you know, my wife, she's kind of, I call her Sporty Spice, right? She can outrun the boys, <laughs> ski the boys, you know. And she doesn't wear a lot of jewelry. But if she wears a piece of jewelry, she wants to make a statement. She wants to wear one piece. And this is that kind of ring. That's great. Yeah. And I love the hammered effect because you did a satin finish uh, and then it has the high polish on the edges. I mean, this is a ring that just pops. Yeah. Like you'll put this ring on and people will be like, oh my goodness, you know, where in the world did you get that ring? And they're going to ask the story about the stone. I call it the excuse me factor. What do you mean? Where strangers come up to you and say, excuse me, but that's what great. is that? What is that? You is that real? Hand? Yeah. Why haven't I seen that? Well, and that's what's so funny. Why do we not see it? I know because it's super rare, mm -hmm. but I mean, even I think of all the shows I've done over a gazillion right. years yeah. here on air, and I've been to a million places, and I've seen a million stones. I believe you. Never, ever, ever had I seen anything like this before. So it's a boutique gemstone. It's incredibly rare. It's not meant for television shopping because we just simply can't supply it. Mm. But you know what? Uh, HSN appreciates the rarity and the opportunity to show this to your guests or your viewers. And, and you know, how about red carpet 
around Helen Mirren's neck the, where, the year she won the Oscar, the Emmy, and the Globe. Uh, Golden Globe Award, right? Yeah. The, the uh, you know, since past James Gandolfini. I mean, the list goes on. It's, it's one of those boutique gemstones oh, cool that you that. normally find in galleries and boutiques around the world. The other place that it's very, very special is in Asia. So I'm not a feng shui es expert, but the number <laughs> one feng shui master in the world has now written five books on this. And they call it the most important gemstone in the practice of feng shui ever. You're kidding me. Because 71 million years of organic energy encapsulated in the stone, they believe, I believe too, but yeah. they believe, yeah. good health, wealth, and long life. So this is, this is a really you know, organic, beautiful, rich in story that, excuse me, factor, factor jewelry. There's it never is. enough. I, I never want to create unnecessary you know, urgency, but we literally bring handfuls. <laughs> and, and, you know, we you, wanted... Well, and just to kind of uh, uh, reemphasize that, you were on, he just came and did a little, two little hits kind of in July. Mm -hmm. Because again, you couldn't bring much. So no. he brought him what he it could. It was over before it started. It was, it was, it was, yeah, everything sold it out. Was. I mean, it sold out really quickly. He was able to pull enough together. It was a really huge 24-hour gem event today, right? He was able to pull enough together to actually pull off doing two shows today. And so... Me, as someone who's passionate about jewelry, and I love gemstones, and I love doing this job, and I love being able to present unique pieces, I will tell you stuff gets a little tiring, because it's, it's everywhere, or, you know, hey, we've done it before. This is so exciting. This is the kind of bragging rights you get for jewelry that everyone will say, excuse me, you've got to tell me what that is. Where in the world is it from? It's one place in Canada, that's it, in right. the world. And it is so neat. And if you're passionate like I am about jewelry, this is the stuff that we live for. I mean, this is the stuff that we literally hunt for. We hope we find in some dusty corner or we find it in some flea market and no one realizes what they have. You know what I mean? Right. This is the stuff that we look for because we're passionate about jewelry and we don't want to wear what everybody else wears. The hammered piece, by the way, almost gone. We have sizes five through 10. I've got a handful in each size. So please don't wait out. It is, it is a red carpet gorgeous ring. It's comfortable, by the way, extremely comfortable. That hammering with the satin finish is is stunning and also you use gold as a finish as well don't you we do absolutely and you know 32 years in the in the gemstone and jewelry business I can't even believe that I'm saying that because it feels like only yesterday yeah. but it's it's a privilege and a, and a joy to be able to be connected to something so rare and so beautiful so natural and I, I agree with what you're saying you know we're all shopping in the same places um, our, our you know to set ourselves apart you know the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is you know a ring like this or a pair of earrings and when I talk about excuse me factors you know I know that people are going to come back to us and say Ken's right I was in the grocery store and like strangers just walk up to me and say you know excuse me but what is that beautiful stone right. the second thing they say is is that real well 71 million years in the making now there is a downside and the downside is generational gemstone from start to finish less than a hundred years we've been doing this for uh, almost 50 and the world is still just discovering it. You know, where I've lived and breathed in this is some of those luxury markets, duty freeze. You know, I had a gallery, uh, Amalite by the Bay in Grand Cayman, Amalite by the Sea in St. Thomas. You know, these were, this is where we were living and breathing. And one of your very, you know, clever buyers approached us and said, excuse me, what That's the heck is different. this? <laughs> yeah. You know, we covered Gems and Gemology, which is the GIA's, you know, most prolific um, you know, journal and magazine. Mm -hmm. And it was these kinds of things that did that. But at the end of the day, you know, color brings joy. Mm -hmm. And, and it, is, it is such a, a colorful stone. And as much as you guys do an amazing job showing it on, on air, you're missing one thing, and that's one, one of the dimensions. This is three dimensions. This is like capturing the northern lights of Canada or, or a rainbow or all of the palettes of Mother Nature in one gemstone. All completely natural, not treated. It's so beautiful. I just can't believe that either. That, that's where it got me. I was like, I know they've probably done something to it, but no, nope, <laughs> they have not. Um, okay, in size five, 
uh, last chance. So last chance for size five, that's almost gone. Uh, understand as we were going into the show, we were supposed to have more. It has been one of the most popular items on the day. So if you are thinking about it, and this is a nice thing I'm sure in July when you were here last, we did not have five flex. So you can get this home for $70. And remember, if you're keeping this and you really want to test it out and try the excuse me factor, you have until the end of January. If absolutely no one says excuse right. me between now and January, Send it back for the refund. Yes, you would. I, would I know you would. Because they've, they've, I mean, think about it. And again, you know, I've been so blessed, and I think, oh, I've seen every gemstone in the world. Oh, please, you're not going to impress me with anything. I've been doing this for a really, really long time. <laughs> I've traveled the world looking at different gemstones and seeing manufacturing processes. It's the first time I've ever seen this. It's the first time I've been able to go on air with it. And I was just as excited that I hope you are just to have something so rare. And this is the stuff that we dream of. This is the stuff that we wear that no one has. Everybody's got a herringbone, sure. Has everybody got probably some kind of a diamond ring in their life? Yes, most likely, not everybody, but most folks, right? Does everybody have a silver band? Yeah, of course. Does anybody have this that you know? And I can tell you, no one in my life and my entire life has ever owned something like this. And now we get this chance. Isn't this cool? All right, so size five is basically gone. That means I have six through 10 only. So six through 10 left. Do not let the hammered piece sell out because it was limited going into the show. Mm -hmm. In fact, we did not have enough to actually meet the projections because it was popular earlier too. So just a little FYI. Okay, okay now, and again, reordered from July when it did sell out. You gotta see this watch. I think we're just gonna mention it very briefly. I'm super pumped. This is gorgeous. So it was a worldwide limited edition of 2,000 pieces. HSN has all of them that are left in the world. Wow. We make a, a watch maybe once every two to three years, and that's because every single one of those mosaic pieces are hand cut, hand polished, and hand set. This is, again, the finest amylite in the world. I, I don't often talk about price because I think that amylite is a great offer at any price. But what I will tell you that in the galleries and boutiques and where I've spent my life in the luxury good business, you could replace that six with at least a nine and in some places even add a one. So this is, this is, and I can say this and, and, I, and you can fact check me all you'd like, mm -hmm. you, you, you would expect to pay double Ugh. of what you're offering this for. And what's the stones on the surround? Uh, these are white topazes, so a little bit of sparkle Stunning. and zhuzh. Everybody needs a little sparkle in their life. My wife reminds me as much as I'm an analyte addict that diamonds are still a girl's best friend. They are. That's why I'm married for 30 years, so <laughs> I, I, I just say yes to you, like we all do, right? Is this mother of pearl? Mother of pearl, genuine leather band. I wanted to do something right. interesting with the texture, so I've given it a lizard uh, skin sort of texturing to it. You know, ladies, and men for that matter. Yes. Watches are the anchor of your jewelry wardrobe. It's not just about telling time. If you want to set yourself apart or make a statement, there's not a yeah. better thing to do than a watch. Yeah. And this is one of those, you know, we do this out of the joy of doing it right. because we can never make enough of them. Right, and we have, of the 2,000 that was worldwide, have we have them, about 50 left. Which is the last that's it. That's available in the world. Okay, very good. Are we going, what are we doing next? Okay, oh, nice. All right, so that's final quantity on the watch. It's also final quantity on the hammered ring we just had. And now we're going to talk about this. And this is kind of a completely different look. And I love the fact that you went very delicate on this. Thank you. Well, yeah. you know what? I'm on a mission. Besides educating the world about amylite is that I think women neglect the mo one of the most important real estate pieces of real estate on their body when it comes to jewelry and that's the neckline or decollete and I know why they do it because they don't get to see it but the whole world gets to see it and so with that um, you know dressing the neckline is so important mm -hmm. and it's and it's to me one of the most beautiful places to wear jewelry so you don't need a lot of um, you don't need a lot of necklaces necessarily you just need you just need couple of fabulous ones. And the beautiful thing about amylite and, and, the, and the color is it goes with everything. You know, it's like a bouquet of flowers. You know, the more colors you add, the more robust the, it is. And so the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is the attention to detail. And these are the kinds of things that I would love all ladies out there to consider, you know, take advantage of this and maybe walk into, you know, wear it for the next month and just see how many people go, <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Now that is gorgeous. That's Where did you get that? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And again, you know, 
Talk about rarity, have you ever seen it? I bet you there are thousands of you right now who, like me, have never ever experienced this stone. And it is, um, I, was, I really was tickled. I mean, um, I, I started looking at the collection, I was like, what, and I only got to see pictures. So I knew if it looked really that good in pictures that it was gonna be amazing in person. And it is, it's, it's absolutely just so exciting to have something different, right? To have something that you get excited about and that you love. And this is a really wonderful way to wear a piece that's not over the top you know it's not too crazy um you've got the paper clip which i love you did a little demure paper clips yes, that's really cute although it is noticing. durable i also like how you did the geometrics on the bail going thank down to you. actually the finished piece it look at this guys i want you to see isn't this neat how this is designed to be sort of geometric all the way down well i'm a, my wife says i'm a bit you know eccentric in my attention to detail but this has been my baby and I, i'm not going to tell you my whole story but 30 plus years ago, you know, I started driving my Volkswagen Jetta across North America, introducing Amolite to people that had never seen it before. Really? And now, you know, covered of magazines, in museums, Discovery Channel, celebrities. Um, it's, it's, it's really one of those things because it's so rare, so precious, but most importantly, it's beautiful. It's stunning. It's, it's so beautiful. It's just different and beautiful. I love the fastening on top of it as well to really bring out Thank all you. that magnificent color. And there's no color enhancement. No, that none. is what is like zero. That's that had me at hello. I was like, you've got to be kidding me because you expect that when it's so vibrant. So we had some video at the early just when we got started mm -hmm. where we opened up a rock and we just poured water on it because pouring water on it will give you the effect of after how you pol here we are here polishing oh, it. This is right out of the ground. Oh. Hand cut, <gasps> hand polished, Get hand shaped, out of here. finely hand set. I mean, this is this is this is a labor of love. That's amazing. And, and there's only a handful of cutters that really are experienced enough to work with this material. There's four or five people in the world that work with that top quality amylite because we can't, you know, miss it. You know, we can't have an oopsie daisy. Yeah, right. right? Yes, I can see we that. We just can't. We yeah, can't. Yeah. And to see what you're offering it for, if, if hand to heart, this is one of the best opportunities and maybe the best I've ever seen amylite offered in my 30 plus years. Oh, that's I awesome. I mean, HSN is being very, very generous to your audience. And just so you'll know, um, this I have less than 20 of the necklaces left, and it is 18 inches. So you've got 18 inches in the back. Although what's kind of neat is you can adjust that a little bit, you I sure think. Can. Yeah, you could yeah, on you the little sure paper can. clip. So. A little bit of an extender. A little bit there, yeah. so you've got that on the back. So stay right there for what I have remaining in that. I'm practical, okay. by the way, right? It, practical and functional doesn't necessarily take away from the beauty and, and, and the designer-ness of a piece. Yes. The more you can wear it, the more valuable it becomes. Yeah. I'm married to Sporty Spice, so I need everything to be to go with, you know, jeans and a t-shirt. I need to meet Sporty Spice. Yeah, no, I mean, she she's can out run, out ski, out <laughs> golf. You know, she's the only person I know, she's the only woman that is invited out on a on men's golf tournament. Oh, geez, I'm okay, that says something. I'm she not is. Invited. She is, <laughs> yeah, right. All right, coming up next, Kenneth will keep, stay with us. We have amylite and white sapphire pendant, ring and earrings around the corner. We understand every woman's skin is unique. We offer real beauty solutions, empowering women to achieve healthy, radiant looking skin. Genuine beauty begins with skin. The HSN deal is a great value that we bring to you every day. Thanks to our long and valued partnerships with the brands you love most, we are able to offer amazing products at great values. Shop the HSN deal with confidence from us to you. Holiday host fades are here. And HSN is celebrating with two days filled with 22 of the season's best today's specials and must-haves, handpicked by all your favorite hosts. Tune in and cozy up to all HSN hosts' favorite holiday deals, merry offers, and extra special surprises. Holiday host fades starts Friday at midnight, only on HSN. I'm Christian Siriano, and I'm a fashion designer. For fall, we wanted it to feel really, really just warm. The colors are really, really rich because I want it to be about like that ultimate luxury. I've designed and dressed first ladies, fashion icons, and movie stars, and now I get to design for you. Only at HSN and HSN.com. We 
they have everything they're wishing for and more. Hi, welcome to HSN. I'm Suzanne. Kenneth's with me. He brings us the most amazing jewelry. And I said, we were in the break, and I said, Kenneth, I go, I got the whole GIA thing. I got a whole bunch of certificates. And I said, and I have never seen nor talked about this yep. gemstone. It is just You've had me so laughing cool. and giggling behind the scenes, that's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's, I'm just and, overwhelmed. And this is joyful jewelry. This yes. Is, it makes you feel good. You can't have a bad day when you're wearing a beautiful piece of jewelry like this. Yeah, yeah. You know, one of my favorite uh, letters, from, and it was a letter, that's how long ago it was. <laughs> Not so even when, an email. And it was from England. They said, you know, whenever I do my housework in the Hoovering, I put all of my ammo light on because, you know, it just makes this mundane task a little bit better. <laughs> jewelry should not be for special occasions. Yes. You know, wear it and be joyful. Now, this is really something extra special, and I'm sh sure you're going to introduce it, but i got to tell you. No, go. This go, go, is go the second largest piece of amylite in the entire collection. So we've gone from the rarest of rare, and now we've moved into the second largest piece. Amylite actually comes in small pieces. So larger stones are, it's a big word, but exponentially more rare. So they're very, very seldom seen, and especially on, on somewhere like HSN. Like, I mean, right. this, is, this, is, this, is, this is unheard of. So this is like... Of, it's highly collectible anyway, but the larger the pieces, the rarer and more collectible uh, they are. A hundred percent. And this ring that we're doing, I, I should stop doing it because I can barely make them, but I absolutely <laughs> love it so much. You're using a lot of stone. <laughs> a lot of stone. And, and, but these are just spectacular. And depending upon the angle that you look and don't, you know, you can, you can move it around and you will watch this kaleidoscope of color just fill the screen or fill your life and I'm yeah. you know you can I, see it in my hand I, a lot and because it's such a huge cabochon uh -huh. you get even more play of light you do like it really blows up on your finger or your neckline so let me give you this kind of the scoop yeah. um Angela I know you updated me on the ring but I have to repeat it I apologize okay there's 20 left in the ring I have 5 through 10 we sold out of 11 and 12 so 5 through 10 20 left in the ring and here of course is the cabochon of the necklace it comes with an 18 inch beautiful chain Thank with you. a 2 inch extension on the back and this is all done in sterling silver rhodium plated yep and can I just say something about the ring a large ring like this ladies I want to change your mind big rings are not necessarily just for big hands right yep. it's all in the craftsmanship and 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 the creation of these pieces of jewelry a large ring should fit you like a glove so when you put this on it's not it's going to be awkward it's not going to get in the way it's just going to be fabulous you know you walk into a room wearing nothing but that ring <laughs> yeah people are going to want to talk to you you want to meet strangers wear a ring like this. Yeah. If you're a wallflower and super, super shy, wear a ring like this. <laughs> now, you know if what? you're like me and you're over the, because people <laughs> want to talk to you. If you're like me and you're over the top, wear a ring like this. Right. I mean, this is good stuff, right? E exactly. In fact, the size of the ring comes in. Oh, and also, do you guys have the matching earrings? If you could bring those out too, that would be awesome. And by the way, I didn't mention, but I hope you can see it tucked in there. Oh yeah, they even did white sapphire. And I, Kenneth, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to stick some white sapphire in there. But again, Kenneth, Kenneth comes from this incredible luxe jewelry experience. And I love that you translate all that into what he's doing. So yeah, would I ever notice that? Not necessarily when it's on your finger, but he goes to that extra effort to really elevate these pieces. Now, when we get the earrings out here, I wanna show you it only because we've got three pieces. The ring comes in at, gosh, it's 3 16ths of an inch long, so I you're know. almost an inch, right? Really, and, and it's attention to detail. And oh, yeah. I'm, I'm getting to the point over 30 years of doing this, I'm just not willing to compromise, right? right? And I, and I, this is this is going to be a big part of my life and my history of my life and my, you know, uh, when my grandchildren talk about me and I just want to do it my way. So I'm not compromising. You know, I could do more pieces if I was going to do it in a different way, yes. and I'm just not going to. Folks, you well, have... you know it's really funny, and you can't get too small either because then that play of color wouldn't be there. Exactly. So what's interesting, you're in, you're really stuck in a precarious situation because a lot of things. It's like okay, if I had an amethyst, I could go to a little teeny amethyst mm -hmm. pretty successfully, right? And it'd still be purple, right? right. 
But with this, you certainly can't go that small because then you no. lose what makes the stone so special. And so you're really, and you can't go too big because they just don't have really big stones. So this is really, again, one of those very unique opportunities. If you're a passionate like jewelry, that if you're watching, you are, this is a great show. This is a fun show because this is the kind of thing that we really do search for. It's those dusty corners. Mm -hmm. It's me going into old vintage jewelry shop and I'm hoping I find something they don't realize they Agreed. have. Agreed. That's what I always want. Yeah. It's like, oh, they don't know what they got, but I found it. <laughs> and this is the kind of thing that we search for if we really love great jewelry. We want the pop. We want that color. We want the wow. You know, that's what we want. And if you're going to spend a little more than normal, you want something that is extremely rare extremely extraordinarily rare and now you've got this great opportunity and thank and you to I our model imagine. sorry so thank you to oh, our model for like do watch what you we can just have that. a glass of wine and listen to some music and watch the play <laughs> of color here and, and that's miss julia and miss julia great job and all of these colors are natural mm -hmm. that's, there's that's amazing to right me. mother nature at her best it really is mm -hmm. okay so um i do want to mention vip financing because again this is not a 19 dollars jewelry piece i get it i we're on about that we know that so here's the way we can do it and make it easier if you get out your hsn card right now you actually can qualify in this case for 18 months to pay it off and because of the price point there's no interest for 18 months as long as you pay it off in 18 months that's unheard of most credit cards are going to charge you every single month right. to be able to use the card with us as long as you pay it off in 18 months there will be absolutely no extra interest so you're not paying any more from it 18 months from now as you are right at this very moment it just helps obviously to split the payments up so you have 18 months what's called vip financing which really breaks it down quite reasonably uh, if you want to try try to use that option to make it a little easier i did want to mention the rings earrings really quick they're fun they're dangle i just wanted to pop them out um, so again if you Four love stones. this oval shape yeah that's cool well and yeah. really hard to do my uh my my partner said what are you doing <laughs> like why don't you just silver Please. ball yeah, on the right top. so for every one pair of earrings we're going to have to put four stones in them like that's the kind of conversations we have because it is so rare right and this is coming up in just a second but just to go back and to emphasize we have the necklace it does come with the uh the chain and we also have the ring that also has white sapphires on it as well all of that available in you said the second largest stone mm -hmm that you've done here at HSN or that you've done? That we produce. Really? I mean, unless it's a one of a kind or something like that. But no, yeah. and one of a kind started about $10,000. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, guys, gonna wrap up on that. We're gonna move right on to the earrings. And this, that is funny. So again, we're kind of sticking with this oval shape. Do you find the shape oval really helps to uh, allow the color to come out better? You know, it really kind of is the same with all of them. Okay. It's, we're, we're just, it's, it's just all about design. So, you know, we, we do trillions and we do emerald cuts and we do bars and, but yeah, in, in a lot of our pieces, we love the old because we think it's one of the most flattering and workable pieces that is going to go sort of appeal to a larger audience. Mm -hmm. um, dangle earrings, ladies, a little bit of dangle is always a good thing because as they move, watch what they do. Like the colors, the sparkle. I mean, they're just phenomenal. And uh, listen, the, the, the prices that you're offering, and it's, it shouldn't be about price, but it, I, gotta, I have to mention, it just so, like I don't think there's a place in the world that you could own the finest amylite in the, in the world at under $1,000 in any piece of jewelry. Jeez. Even the $299, $399, $499 in, that we're in, seeing here. in the luxury goods market where I've lived and breathed for the last 30 years. It's none of those pieces could be sold for that. It's 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 north of a thousand dollars and and many thousands at times. Right, right. Because if you think about you know a defloss diamond one carat, you're the GIA person. Think about that. I mean, thousands and thousands. Yeah, thousands most of dollars. people out of their budget. So, and by the way, 180 percent amylite has gone up in the last 12 years. And in, and the reason for that is is that the demand is far outweighing the supply. Mm -hmm. There is not enough of this, of this quality. I mean, people think I'm crazy to do this on television and to show it to such a broad audience, but my passion is to educate you and right. introduce you to this because it is so extra special. Gorgeous. Okay, now the earrings. Here's what's kind of cool. Again, he could have done it simple and just done sterling silver, sterling silver, stop. He actually created 
two more earrings to go with this. Thank so you. when you really think about it, he's using four stones, which is a huge amount. And then see, that's another earring there, another earring there. And I like it because they articulate. Thank They're you. really fun because the play, the movement, that's really going to be a splash around your face. You know, when you're wearing these and you're talking and you're visiting or you're at a restaurant and you're looking over at your friends, the play of color, you just, is such an attention getter and brings all that attention up to your face, which is awesome. They're pierced, obviously, in the back, um, and they are one and five sixteenths of an inch long. Very, very comfortable on. Like, I threw them, I threw them on, and you almost forget you have them on. Oh, I can that's feel perfect. them move Great. around a little bit, but that's lovely. That is, oh, super. Well, you know what? And a lot of people ask me, you know, because I've been in the jewelry business for so long, how do we tell a you know, a, a, a good piece of jewelry versus one that maybe isn't so good. And I always say, well, you gotta look in the places where most people don't. So even on the backs of our earrings, now this is, a, this is an exclusive Kenneth Bradley design that I've created. It was inspired by one of my favorite places in the whole world, which is Venice, Italy. Uh, I, just, I just get soaked in art, history, culture, and maybe the odd Prosecco. Um, <laughs> but, but it really is, you know, like no detail has been spared. Right. This is a, this is this is my brand with my name on it, and I'm and I'm just again not going to compromise. You're gonna you're gonna love these. And, and, I, and I want you guys to see that real quick because here's what he's talking to. It's the reverse. So there it is, the reverse of that unbelievable cabochon pendant. And then look at the reverse in the earrings. And again, nobody sees that except you do basically. And that's you know that's what fine jewelers do. They Absolutely. finish off the entire piece. Um, if you want to turn around and wear it that way, you can. But I think this is pretty darn spectacular. Me I wouldn't too. hide this part. Okay, so in the earrings, I have 20 left. In the necklace, Angela, and the ring between the necklace and ring, where are we standing? I have 19 rings oh and 17 necklaces. <laughs> That's final call, final quantity that we have yeah. available, guys. So You know what, it's a lottery, but I honestly, and I love the fact that you can you know, get it at home. You, you be the judge and see it yourself. Yeah, true. Because it really is going to look better. People say, are you using trick photography? No, it's actually gonna look better when you get it at home. Yeah, in natural light, in that 3D gemstone. I completely agree. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up on those guys. Stay right there if you're on the air or on the line, excuse me, for the earrings. You can use .com. I think going to HSN is just always the easiest, easiest way to shop. Okay, so don't forget about our HSN card. Um, for example, Example. On the last couple of pieces, we had 18-month VIP financing. That's only available if you have our card. Now, if you'd like to apply, you can do it right now. And if you're approved, you can use it instantly, and we'll save $20 on your very first purchase with us using the card. All right, Kenneth, so we're going to move on. Stay right there, as I mentioned, for those two pieces or three pieces. Again, super, super limited and so cool. Thank you. So I, I had to put this one on because it's just so remarkable and unusual and unique and special and luxurious. And this is to me, if you were ever to go to a estate sale of a woman who lives up in the Hamptons or I don't know, up in the East Coast, we have these big old mansions, they would have something like this in their collection and it would go for thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. So they would, because those kind of women who are the women who can afford anything, they want the most unique and the most unusual and they want something that's wildly different that basically no one else is gonna have. And to me, Kenneth, this represents all of that. Uh, we're at $599.95. I have 120 available, maybe even less than that. By the way, I want to mention, I am wearing a beautiful adjustable necklace. So right now I'm at the longest length, which is 22 inches, but this adjusts all the way up and down. That's a cool necklace, which is also available. So when you see Thank this you. neat necklace, just understand that's a separate purchase. This though is what we're talking about. Now, do you want to start on this side or this side? Well, I want to start on the other side, if you don't okay, mind. Very so, good. so ammonites again are prolific, which means that they, you know, were in, oceans and bodies of water back in the days of the dinosaurs 70 million years ago. Okay. So this is, this is a Madagascar ammonite. So it's the cousin of the Canadian ammonite huh. that produces ammonite, okay. right? So what we did is we then, so the ammonite was a 3D, like two sides, we sliced it in half, and these chambers, because this, this is a relative of the chamber nautilus, the chambers are open. And so we've meticulously hand-selected the finest amylite in the world. This is um, history, natural history, art, gemstone, and jewelry all in one piece. Right. When somebody says to you, excuse me, but what is that? You should probably say, 
maybe you should sit down because it's a story. It's, it's a bit. It's quite a, it's quite a story to tell. <laughs> but what I love is it just, you wear something like this and first of all, you feel extra special. And, and you are the envy of many people because when I tell you that we make these in handfuls, we really do. This is, this is a passion. This is my life's work. This is my love. And so it's not, I'm not just trying to be practical. I want to create beautiful pieces of jewelry. And this, first of all, we start off with this beautiful Nautilus ammonite from Madagascar which Mother Nature created 71 million years ago. I don't know how you figured out to do this, but it's cool. It's pretty cool, like, right? Like, were you just looking at a shell and went, hey, if we cut this in half. This is a whole other story, but, <laughs> but, but in my early years, yeah. we were the largest, um, we were the largest restorer of dinosaurs. We actually, we have, we have dinosaurs in museums all over the world. You're kidding me. No, I'm really not. So archeological kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, like Tyrannosaurus Rex and yeah, the whole yeah. So I have a background and a, and a bit of a history in that, and it was a okay, passion. Okay, that's a whole show in and of itself. So I'm a rock hound. <laughs> okay, got it. Right. Okay. I mean, people say, "Oh, Kenneth Bradley, the designer." Okay, but I'm really a rock hound. I got it. And my wife is like, "If you bring one more rock into the, you know, I've got this these beautiful cabinets full of." She calls them my rock collection. <laughs> Can I just tell you one more story when we look at this? Yes, yeah, sir. I had a little fellow knock on my door uh, last summer, and he was selling rocks. Right, he had collected some rocks, and, oh, and, he, and I said, listen, in my world, we don't, we don't buy and sell rocks, we trade rocks. So I went and I grabbed some fossils, some little fossils and some rocks, oh, and I geez. traded him these. And an hour later, his mom was on the front door, and she said, my son said that you traded him these. And I said, I did, and a deal's a deal. And oh, she was like, precious. oh my goodness. So yeah, I really, I really come by this quite you know, naturally. It's like in your DNA, basically. It's kind of in my DNA. So this is, you know what, I, there's so, I love all of them. They're like children to me. Mm -hmm. But this is so extra special and so different than anything that we've ever really done. Cool. We have sold this around the world. Um, and currently, right now, the only pieces we have available in the world are here. Oh my gosh, it's just one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And just FYI, um, Angela, I'm sorry, hon, I missed what you said in terms of quantity. We have less than 80 remaining. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. And, and, you know, again, I understand it's not a $19 item. Uh, we do have 18-month VIP financing on this if you want to use your HSN card. But it is just generation, generationally collectible. Like, this becomes the family heirloom. I mean, you wear it, you're passionate about it, and then you pass it on, and they pass it on, and they pass it on. Right. And, you know, mark down the little story somewhere. Keep a piece of paper with it so you understand. I mean, there's so much about nature because everything is derived by nature. The right. shell obviously derived by nature. Then they were so clever to cut it out and realize it was hollow. Then they take these, the rarest of the rarest of the rare stones in the world you're seeing right here. And I love how they just did these wonderful little chips and made this mosaic, almost like a stick. You know what it is? It's like nature's stained glass. It really is. It's kind of what you created. It is. And by the way, the bezel of silver, all custom handmade to every single piece. It would have piece. to be, It right? has to be. Yeah. Now listen, you know, amylite is um, an anomaly. There is no other place in the world. It's two and a half hours north of Montana. Is it really? Straight up into okay. the Alberta, uh, uh, province of Alberta. Okay. It's the only place on earth that all the conditions over 71 million years that transformed ammonites uh, into, a, uh, into a fossil, mineral, and then gemstone. That's it's, it's a fluke. It's a geological fluke of nature. It was awarded, it's Canada's national gemstone. It's Alberta's... Uh, provincial gemstone. Um, the uh, indigenous First Nations, they call it the Buffalo Healing Stone. So here's what I think is really interesting. When I met the feng shui master, the number one feng shui master in the world, and he told me about all of these, you know, powers and energy and so forth, and I really, I'd never heard anything like it. I, I really, I was skeptical. Right. But then I met with um, one, of the, one of the leaders of the Blackfoot Nation, and they call this stone a niskim, which is the buffalo healing stone. So the buffalo obviously was what the most important thing to their livelihood. Mm -hmm. And so I found like two cultures on two opposite sides of the world that are you know, celebrating amylite for the same reason That's of amazing. these natural powers of energy and, and long life health. And, Right? I mean, right. it just, That's it, amazing. that blew my mind. Yes, right. It really right, did. It right. blew my mind. I mean, that talks about such a much bigger universal picture of a stone. 
Like, you, you, like, you said it better think? than I did, but then you're a professional. No, I don't know. I'm not <laughs> you just sure said I did, it better than I did. I mean, how interesting is that? That there yeah. is this connection that is totally unexpected. That again, you know, truly, when you get this home, there is something about it. There is something about looking at the stone and wearing the stone and and having it. And then, again, I'm experiencing it for the first time, just like you are. I, I've never touched the stone. I've never seen the stone in my life. And again, I thought, oh, I'm GIA, blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was missing a big portion of this. But it is so 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 rare that most of us like I'm, you probably have never seen it either, unless you've seen Kenneth, you know, somewhere talking about it, or maybe. You've been on vacation and happened to see it, but I've done those cruises. I've never seen this on any cruise I've been on or any right. ports I've been to. So this really is something that's so spectacular. And I think when you're buying jewelry and you're investing in it, we do want the really special pieces. When you're going to spend a bit of money on it, we want something that's so outstanding. And for me, these are the heirloom pieces. This is what I think about my grandchildren's grandchildren still wearing and talking about and having in their collection. This is, yeah, is it for me? You bet you. Am I going to wear it with pride? Of course I would. But really, it's that incredible long-term inheritance that you're going to create in a jewelry collection. A lot of my jewelry, they're going to be like, yeah, my son doesn't want a lot of my jewelry, I can tell you that. <laughs> Even his girlfriend he's going to marry eventually, she does not want a lot of my jewelry. But this is a piece that, no matter who you are and what family you're in, this becomes that heirloom piece, which is so cool and so important. My children's children will not have the opportunity to buy Amylite on the open market. I mean, there is there is less than 50 years of this deposit, and I'm not oh, saying. Oh, really? And I'm and not saying be... I'm not saying that to be dramatic. Like we understand the geology, we know all about it, from start to finish. It was somewhere approximately 100 years, and and we're we're long past 50. Wow. Right. So and and the so world it'll be, in essence mined out. For sure, it will be. Wow. And 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 it's and it's not to make it even more rare. It's just this opportunity is limited. You know those things that we say. Do you remember way back when we could get this? Well, this is going to be one of those things. Yeah. So it really is going to be the privileged few uh, around the world that have you know been around now to be able to own this um, generational gemstone, generational jewelry. It's beautiful and it's joyful. So cool. It's, it, come on, you gotta admit, this is one of the coolest pieces you've ever seen, right? I mean, if you're at home going, no, it's kind of boring, you're like, okay, really, are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have five flex pays. If you wanna use a major credit card, we do have 18 month VIP financing. I don't know what that calculates out to, so hopefully Angela, my producer, can help me on that one. Cause my I wife do says never do math on, uh, on television. Oh, I'm the worst. And she says, Ken, please. Stop trying to do. Stop, doing stop trying to do math. It's on thirty-three television. dollars if you want to use your HSN card to get this home, and you know everyone's going to say, "Oh my gosh, you got to tell me what is that?" I right, do want to mention the chain. This is super cool. So my partner, my business partner, who has uh, been with me, you know, from most of this, all of this, almost. Mm, how cool she, is it? I compl I was complaining about chains, <laughs> and she finally said to me, she kind of like hit me in the arm and said, "Why don't you make your own Just chain? Like a chain?" So here's the thing, ladies. And, and I'm, not a, I'm not a chain supplier, but chain suppliers are not going to probably like me very much because every woman is different, everybody's neck is different, every neckline on every top that you wear, and you want to have a chain and a pendant that is going to look perfect every time you wear it. This is completely adjustable. Set it and forget it. I think that was an old shopping channel. <laughs> Uh, on something. On something. And I like the lobster claw on it too. Thank and you. I will tell you, a lot of times when you get adjustable chains, the mechanism is a little loosey goosey. This isn't. Oh, no. And I love how it slides. It's a stunning chain. So, quite frankly, I, yeah, do I want you to pick up some beautiful amylite? Of course, that's the heart of the show right now. Um, but if you just want a really good chain that you can wear really, really close or really, really mm -hmm. long, it actually goes to 22 inches long, but it can go way up, almost choker. Then this is the chain for you if you just want to buy a great chain. Uh, $89.95, it's all done in sterling. Silver, and I love the little heart clasp on the bottom. So my, my, my daughter Mia, when I gave her one of these chains, she actually didn't put a pendant on it. She flipped it around and had the long dangle heart. The heart down the front. I said, I've been doing this a long time and I never thought of that. <laughs> and it was absolutely beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay guys, so today is a big day. We have 24 hours of our big gift giving jewelry event. And of course, where are you gonna store all your jewelry? Well, I store a bunch of mine, especially my rings actually, in one of Colleen Lopez's prestige boxes. This is actually a set of three. It's a brand new configuration. You get what's called the bracelet glass box. You get the earring and ring box. And then you get an open compartment box. We have one, two, three, four different 
colors. We have black, sapphire, amethyst, and garnet colored. We have five flex, so it's $18. And also, I think what makes these so popular and why people love them so much is they're not only croco embossed, they're flocked on the insides. They have this nice little velvet lining, but it's called Jewel Saver. It's an anti-tarnish treatment that they use in each and every box. So if you're tired of having to clean all your jewelry all the time and it's tarnishing, you want to put it inside a box that's going to help protect from that. And this is a great way to do it. I've had her boxes for a long, long time. Love them, love them. Keep my ring, definitely my ring box. My ring box is very organized because of those. And we have them back in stock today in a brand new configuration. All right. So we had a couple items in this bypass collection that I was pretty pumped mm. to get to. By the way, if you guys saw or didn't see the hammered ring we had earlier, I will give you an update because we are going to move on. These are the two rings that I previewed in the beginning of the show. Mm -hmm. This is the hammered ring. I'll give you an update on that in just a second. And then this is the bypass ring. And I'm going to pop up here a bypass necklace that actually sold out the only other time we had it on the air in February. It is now back in stock. Really cool, super flexible, which is neat. I love that. But Thank let's you. begin with the ring. Well, first of all, it took my breath away, not because I designed it and I think it's beautiful and it has a lot of history, but I can tell you that, and I'm gonna say in the real world of jewelry, so outside of this network, okay. you couldn't buy one of these stones for the price that you're off. I mean, this is, this is a thousand dollar ring all day long. Wow. It has two amylite stones. Now, it's the first ring in the Kenneth Bradley collection. I call it the Sandra ring because Sandra has been my best friend since I was mm -hmm. two years old. So it, and, and she was the first person I ever gave this to. This is a stunning bypass ring that has been the number one seller in our collection since I launched it. Wow. And, and again, two of the rarest qualities of the rarest stone in one ring. I love the idea of bypass because I am practical. You know, I've got a wife and two daughters. I have to be practical. <laughs> and what I'm saying is, is that, you know, a lot of times now, you know, your, your ring size is not your knuckle size. So there's a little bit of give, yeah. Yeah. you know, and not everybody's a perfect six. Maybe you're a six and a little bit and a six and a less. Well, this bypass ring is going to be beautiful. And I am obsessed with the wrist. Yes. I think it is a sensual part of a woman's body. And I feel like it is being underexposed. So the, the bangle that you have is just perfect. This is one of our top sellers. I uh, applaud HSN for giving you the opportunity to own this for such a, for such a reasonable, actually shockingly reasonable low price. Yeah. Um, our number one bestseller, one of, I, yeah, they're all my favorites, they're all my children, but this is where it started. This is the Sandra ring. and That's so um, cool. People are loving this ring all over the world. Now, just to give you an update on the hammered ring, this, again, you've got gold around the outside of it and the bezel. This is a satin hammered finish with a high polished. Um, Angela, sorry, you're gonna have to give me the update again. There's 75 left. And I have all sizes. Well, hallelujah for that. Wow. So again, Good. if you're thinking about getting this ring, because again, I previewed both of these. You might have been a little late to the game today. That's okay. Uh, this ring and this ring are both my previews. This one, wildly popular today. This one and the bracelet itself, both sold out back in February and sold out like that. Like they were in and out as fast as you can imagine. The bracelet fits basically a six and a quarter to six and a half. And it's got great flexibility, which is really cool. And also on the bracelet you've got I just want to double check is that sapphires again what'd you put on there uh, on the opposite side oh sapphires or oh, no, topaz. Topaz. no this is this yeah. one is topaz so they're sorry. white topaz on this side right. uh, and they're pave set topaz mm -hmm. and again very very large drop here we'll get to this in just a second you know what I love is how much sterling silver you use in the ring thank I you I mean this baby is thick it, it, it really is thick and, and comfortable you know what these are general generational pieces of jewelry you know this is this is not just yeah. fashion but this is about you know, having the opportunity to own something of one of the rarest things on earth that you can know that you can pass down from generation to generation. These are extra special. And the ring that we're offering on sale, the Sandra ring, is just an incredible opportunity. If we had enough of these, you know, you could call it, I'm not sure what you call it here, Such your nice today's sandals. something or other special. Or today's special. Special, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is incredible. The hammered ring. I bet you don't have those very often because you can't make Never. that many. <laughs> Never. He's like, Ooh. I've been offered them. I'm sure. And I've said, I'm sure. no. I can't do it. I can't do it. Right, right. I was offered, like I said, a show in January. I said, I, I'd love to do it. Yeah. I can't. He, he literally could not. He didn't. In fact, this is the first time ever on HSN where he's had enough items to do two hours. You're Months. on with Sarah earlier, yeah. Sarah earlier. He's on with me tonight, and then that's it. That's and, it. And the only other time he was on was in July, and he had two little, you know, two little 
Yeah, I don't like, know what you want to call it. It was just, he had some stuff, right? And everything sold out, including these two guys. So again, although this was back in February when these sold out, in the July you had your sellouts as well. Yeah. So this is his first full hours that he's able to do. Um, and just, it's like rarefied air. Um, again, in case somebody missed it, sure. I do want to do a little history on this because it is real, guys. To explain it, because yeah. when I first saw this, I thought he, they have color enhanced these darn things. Well, remember, <laughs> this is going to be a big part of my legacy. So one of the reasons that I was willing to and very excited to be here is that I wanted to introduce people to one of the rarest, most beautiful gemstones. It's been my life's work, right, right. right? But my life's work is not nearly as long as Mother Nature. 71 million years Jeez. in the making. You know, it went from, uh, you know, sea nautilus to fossil Which, mineral. Which, is this thing, right. right, in essence? It is, yeah. This was this. This is only in Canada, by the way. It's only one place in Canada, it's too, right? It's four square miles. So it started out, get that's, out of that's here. That's the only deposit. It started out as this shoe, guys. And then fast forward 100 uh, Right, fossil, million. fossil, mineral, gemstone, amylite. Official gemstone status in 1981. There hasn't been a precious gemstone discovery since the discovery of amylite, <laughs> right? The only people prior to us being aware of it, like I said, was, was the Blackfoot Indians mm -hmm. uh, that were in, in between Montana and Alberta, and they called it the Aniskum, which was the Buffalo Healing Stone, the most powerful, most beautiful, you know, gemstone that captured all of the world's colors in one gem. I, and I this is the real deal. Well, and I love when people ask me because I don't blame you for asking. It's so beautiful that you can't even believe that it's natural. Right. Right. And I get, what did I, you do I, to this? I'm like, well, we kind of dusted it off. And we polished Shaped it. it a and, yeah, I mean, this is Mother Nature's. Like, how can you how can you make a rainbow better? You know, how can you make a beautiful flower better? That's Mother Nature knows what she's doing. Right. And we have been blessed to be able to to be part of this. And that's where my passion is. This is I know my legacy. You know, and and there's please don't do and it. It's they call me out. Amalite Ken. <laughs> you know, and I was like, okay. You're like, oh, great. Right. Um, but you know what's in, and it's finite, which is even, so it's four square miles. And by the way, it's not like everywhere in four square miles. It's like, like remember, these were, these were living Nautiluses. Like creatures. So yeah. we are slowly, as you saw in the video, slowly moving, like we take one bucket at a time, two guys on either side of the bucket, hoping that they're gonna find You're something. Me. Had a, we get lots of television crews from all over the world coming. And I'll never forget, it was a very cold, rainy day. Uh, a, a crew from Japan flew to do a documentary on Amalite. And we stood there in the rain, in the cold, for what seemed to be forever, but probably five or six hours, yeah. nothing. Oh, they kept recording to get did, something we were out just, of the ground? I said, I said, guys, just wait. We're, we're almost there. I'm hoping. And, and moving forward, and I shouldn't maybe say this live on television, but we actually bring some Amalite because filming is often. We get people always wanting to film this. Right. So we bring Amalite just in case we actually don't find something. <laughs> sure, to put yeah. some under some dirt. Yeah. Oh, look, we got some. Look, well, we're, we're showing you what it would look like if but we it found it. But again, that goes back to the rarity. It's so And again, rare. the larger the Ammonite, the even rarer it is. Yes. So here's your options. The hammered is almost sold out. The, you guys are loving the bypass once again. So and this you is and, and I have, do you have any idea when you're coming back? Well, I said no to January. So, so not until sometime next year. Sometime next year. There was maybe talk of, of joining them in Tucson for the Tucson event. Oh, please which do. I've been going Really? Well, I've been going to Tucson for 20, no longer, 30 years. Yeah. Like, remember, Rock Hound. Yeah, right, right, right. right, right. So I, I love it there. <laughs> I'm not in a shirt and tie. You yeah, know? yeah, I'm true. In, I'm in right. jeans and a t-shirt, yeah. and I'm playing He's with casual, rocks. He's casual, Ken. Yeah, and I'm playing with Along rocks. Along with spicy. Yeah, Sporty which, Spice. Sporty Spice is his wife, and he's yeah. casual Ken yeah. in Tucson. All right, guys, um, I know we don't have a couple. We have maybe 180 rings left. Do I still have all sizes, um, Angela? Yeah, okay, good. So we have uh, five through 10 in the ring. This, you guys are on fire for this one, too. I understand, it's so cool. A lot of sterling silver, too, and finished in rhodium, which is great. All right, do you want to talk about the uh, bangle bracelet? Because this is super cool. Should I baby this putting it on? I I'm a little nervy. So. No, no, I mean, it's... No, it's, not really. No, look at that. Yeah, look at that. That is really cool. <gasps> okay. I love that. All right, so, so topaz my style, on one side. Topaz on one side, okay. beautiful. So I love the teardrop. Uh, it's curvaceous, it's feminine, it's sexy. I think it's one of the most beautiful cuts that a woman can wear on her body. And, um, and I love and obsessed with dressing 
uh, the wrist, because again, you know, and I love that when you're wearing even a long sleeve shirt or sweater and it's just kind of poking out and just, it's those finishing touches that really make a difference. Amylite, of course, goes with everything. From jeans and a t-shirt, yeah, jeans and a t-shirt, up to Helen Mirren, you know, at the at the Emmys. And she had a, was it one of your pieces? Yeah. Was it big? Yeah. Like how big? Um, it was the size of my palm of my hand, probably big. So we could probably find that on the on the Goog. Uh, on the Goog, I'm pretty sure you could. <sighs> and you know what? I, can I just? I'll tell you. So, I can't so, imagine. Was that like hundreds of thousands of dollars? Um, it was not over a hundred, but it was expensive. <laughs> okay, good. Um, but I went, you know, I went to the Emmys after party. And I went up to, you know, congratulate her on winning the Emmy. One of the proudest moments of my life. Yeah. I went to talk to her about the Emmy, and the first thing she did was talk to me about the piece of amylite around her neck. Oh my gosh. And I was like, you just won an Emmy. <laughs> and it but was, she liked your amylite better. Because even, even the people we read about in magazines, okay. they, they were, we're all shopping for the same thing. Right, right, right. Okay, well Kenneth, this has been fun.